This is Short and Sweet, a series of video interviews by Tracy Metz and Sonne van der Beek from the Salone in Milan 2015. I'm here together with Paola Antonelli, senior design researcher at the Museum of Modern Art in New York. What were you doing today, Paola? We have been, together with the rest of the jury for the Lexus Design Awards, we've been in the, uh, in the location of the award all day. We've been judging the final Grand Prix. We had four finalists and then we had to get to the last one. And then we've been chatting and giving interviews. So it's been a full day of awards. And what do you expect here in Milan? I expect, you know, in the past few years, it's been interesting because uh, um, I've been able to see the two poles of design. It used to be that the furniture fair was about furniture, and then slowly but surely, critical design has been creeping in, you know, led mostly by the schools like in Eindhoven or the Royal College of Art, and it has established itself. So on the one hand, you have reality and the market and the furniture, and then on the other hand, you have this beautiful vision and dreams of designers, and they need each other, because if it were all speculative design, it would almost be nauseous and nauseating, right? And if it were only product, you would think, oh, mine, I'm too heavy on the ground. So it's a beautiful polarity. So I tr I'll try to see as much as possible. There are a few locations where I expect to find good, inspiring work. I hope I won't be disappointed. So I have my whole map. One of your uh, most interesting recent projects was uh, design and violence, mm -hmm. and that was a web-based project. Yeah. And of course, here in Milan, everything is about objects, things we can touch and see. What's the relationship now between digital design and analog physical design? It's interesting you bring it up, because I've been trying to convince the Milanese authorities to include also intangible and metaphysical design, because that's the future. I think that the two go hand in hand. I always see the digital world as an extension of possibilities, right? So it's another space to do design as the physical world is, and you just have to decide what goes where and what's the most convenient space. So for design and violence, the web world and the website was the best kind of communication device because I wanted to have a dialogue with the audiences, you know, with my co-curator, Jamer Hunt. And instead, in other cases, a physical example, a physical location is best. So designers are learning to modulate their opportunities and to pick the right platform. And it's necessary to present the whole spectrum of design by having both the physical and the digital in the same place. I hope Milan will do it fast. And the expo is coming up, opening May 1st. Are they digital at all? I don't know anything about the expo. That's the funny thing. I've heard some of the uh, exchanges, some of the news, some of the sensationalistic news, but I really don't know what they're doing online and offline. <laughs> it's a very well-kept secret. <laughs> Absolutely. But you know what? What people don't realize is that uh, things happen at the last minute in Italy, but they happen quite beautifully. I mean, when I used to work in Italy, from idea of an exhibition to printed catalog, it was four months. No, no I'm not kidding. So it's, it might seem miracles to others. I, it's something I'm more used to. So I trust that in the end, it will all be okay. <laughs> Are you coming back for the expo? Definitely, I will. Okay. Mm -mm. Thank you, Paula. Thank you. This was Paula Antonelli for Short and Sweet.